let's take information that is given to us and let's write a linear equation model. And so the idea here is we're going to take information given to us and we're going to create a model so that a single variable is equal to some constant times a variable plus a number, just like our y equals mx plus b from our last video. So here we go. Each turn of the handle of a pencil sharpener shaves off 0 0.05 inches from a 7.25 inch long pencil. Write a linear equation that gives the new length L of the pencil after the sharpener handle has been turned t times. So here is our number of times and here's how much comes off each time. So we're going to have a minus 0.05t it's, and it's getting shorter that shaves off 0.05 inches every time I turn. But this started, so here's our start at 7.25 so we'll add 7.25 to it and we'll set this equal to L. So now that we have our model we can come in and we can say, oh look, that's, so this is the answer to A. The length of the pencil is equal to minus 0 0.05 times the number of turns plus our starting length. Or we could write this if we really wanted to as 7.25 minus 0 0.05t. Still linear, just a variable with multiplication and addition or subtraction. Part B says, well what happens if we let t be 20? Let's turn it 20 times. Well that just means we're going to plug in Let's do it from this one. Our L is going to equal minus 0 0.05 times 20 plus 7.25. Well, minus 0 0.05 times 20 is minus 1 plus 7.25. And so minus 1 plus 7.25 is 6.25. So if we turn it 20 times in the pencil sharpener, our pencil is now 6.25 inches long.